Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and you're here in the kitchen with me today. I am here today to kind of share with you the journey that I have begun as far as kickstarting my keto journey back on the right track. And today I'm here to share with you my Thrive Market Haul. And Thrive is the thing that's going to fuel this kickstart and put me off on the right path to being able to stick to my health goals. So come along with me as I share with you what I got. Something really cool about Thrive Market is you get free products every now and then. They're running some kind of like little promotional thing. So I got some non-keto things that I'm thinking that my daughter might like or I can, you know, pass out at school as rewards. Um, these were both free. I'm not sure if I was supposed to get them both free, but I did. Um, this is the Yum Earth um, Organic Fruit Snacks. So that's pretty cool. And I also got a pack of the um, Yum Earth Organic Pops. And so my daughter likes suckers, so she may enjoy those, and I may take the gummies to school. So, of course, I was really hungry when I got home from school, and I've already partaken of some of these things. Um, these are the Fat Snacks Almond Flour Crackers in the Cheddar Flavor. And they did have a plain and another flavor that I don't remember, but these were like Cheez-Its, and I love, love Cheez-Its so much. Um, and also, as soon as I tasted them, they taste a lot like these Trim Healthy Mama Cheez-Its that I used to make a long time ago. So, lazy, lazy me is so excited about these. Mm. The cheese flavor is really, really nice. And so, so good. Um, okay, the next thing I wanted to try was some beef jerky as a snack. When I get home from school, I'm really hungry a lot of times. Being a teacher is a lot of hard work. It's fun, but it's a lot of hard work. So I tried the spicy sesame garlic, zero sugar, from Arch, Archer Farms, Archer something. And this was really good also. It's very soft beef jerky, so it's not too, too um, tough, which I do appreciate because I have TMJ on that side of my jaw. And it does a really good job um, being just a little spicy, um, a little garlicky. This is a really, really good find. I'm really excited about these organic taco night packets. Um, I'm not someone that I have before made my own taco seasoning, but I, why make it when they can make stuff like this? It's organic ingredients, it's whole ingredients, and there's no sugar added to this at all. So why would I spend the time? I don't know. Now, something that I did taste already, and I'm not super crazy about this, but I'm gonna keep trying it out. It's the Bubba's Keto Savory Nut Mix in the sour cream and chive flavor. I love sour cream and chive. It's a really good flavor of chip for me. I do love that. Something about this was just not my favorite. So I'm going to continue to try that, but I don't know if I would buy this again. This is an all time favorite staple in our household. My, I'm trying to get my husband to get back on keto with me and when he is, this is a must for him. And it is the Birch Benders Chocolate Chip Keto Pancake Mix. Um, you really would not even be able to tell that these are keto no sugar. Uh, they are so tasty. So, so, so good. They make a delicious breakfast for sure. And I'm excited to try this. It's the um, Live Low um, Blueberry Scones. And it has real blueberries in it. Because on keto, you can have um, berries within moderation. And so this being a blueberry scone, I'm really excited to try this as something different to eat for breakfast or maybe a snack after school. I know you're not supposed to snack on keto, but when sometimes I just have to. 
Um, I got two of those chocolate chip pancake mixes. So we, we, we go through that a lot in our family. Something else that I'm really excited about trying is the Lakanto banana nut muffin and bread mix. I love the blueberry one of this and I've tried the lemon and poppy seed. I wasn't super crazy about the lemon poppy seed, but the blueberry muffin mix is definitely a favorite of mine. So I was really excited to try this. Um, something else that's new to me is the Monk Pack Keto Granola Bar, um, coconut and cocoa chip. I'm anxious to try that for sure. That's going to be really good. Um, it does have 12 carbs, but it has four, um, two net carbs. So you've got your fiber in there and your allulose and the glycerin. Um, so, you know, um, I do go by net carbs. Um, that makes things easy for me. Um, I got some um, Thrive Market um, Organic Coconut Oil. So that is something that I use often in various different types of recipes. Another keto snack mix that I love, I had this with my first order, is this one from Be Fine Foods. And it's the maple cinnamon praline flavor. This is addictive. It's so, 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 so good. Love that. And the last thing that I got, um, and I do enjoy these even when I'm not on keto, are the nut pods. Um, and this flavor is the toasted marshmallow flavor. Um, it's very, very good. And this one is actually almond and coconut creamer. Um, so sometimes the nut pod will have almond milk, but this one is made with almond and coconut. So I find that really, really tasty. There's no carbs in it at all, no sugars. It's not sweet at all. It's just flavored with the natural flavorings. And if you're somebody that's, you know, not interested in that, obviously not all of this is super clean. But for me, I have to do what I need to do in order to stay motivated on keto. And so sometimes if that means that I need to splurge on, um, you know, maybe a granola bar or something um, just to kind of help me stick to my goals, then, you know, I am okay with bending those rules. And these things that I got are really going to help me to be able to stay motivated to be on keto. When I come home and I have a snack that I can pull out or when I have a super easy breakfast and, you know, I don't feel like cooking um, anything super crazy on the weekend, these are really, really tasty. And my daughter would even like these too. Um, they're, they're really good. So I hope that you enjoyed my Thrive Market haul. And I do have like a referral code just like anybody would if you were on Thrive Market. Um, so it's not like, um, you know, an affiliate link. And this video is not sponsored. Um, but um, you can use that um, code below to get started on Thrive Market. Thrive Market's really cool because they are on online kind of grocery store thing. And they, um, as me as a teacher, I get a free membership. Um, and that, and the other, for like low income families, they also do that as well. So I was very blessed to be able to qualify as a teacher for a free membership. Um, so thank you so much for my, for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.